Hi everyone, I'm back with another uh, reading for you this week from our We Will Eat Africa Volume 2, which is a collection of stories by and about um, African women who are everyday leaders and having an extraordinary impact across the African continent. This week I want to take us to Tanzania um, and share with you the story of Elizabeth Mwambulukutu. Her story is called Shaping African Narratives Through the Unspoken Power of Art. Um, her story is in the section of the book called Deconstructors, and I'm sure as I begin to read you'll hear why um, she speaks of not only what it takes to craft and bring about new narratives, but also um, the need to really question the existing ones and to break them down in order to make space for new ways of thinking about what it means to be African. Um, Elizabeth is uh, one of those uh, kaleidoscope women who wears many, many different hats. She's a uh, creative activist, she's a communication specialist, she's a visual artist and a photographer, she's a mentor, a youth leader, a change maker, um, and so it's such a pleasure to share her story with you. Um, not only that, uh, it is her photographs that have been remixed here and grace the cover of our book. We get so many, many comments um, about how beautiful this cover is. Um, I can't get enough of it. It's bold and rich and has so much um, depth and color, which I think uh, really speaks to what it means to be an African woman. So. We are super grateful not only to be able to share um, Elizabeth's story, but also to be able to showcase her work on the cover of our volume. Um, I'm going to read a little bit for you. So Elizabeth writes, I believe communicators and storytellers play a fundamental role to drive change. As an African citizen, Art provides the platform for facilitating global citizenship and serves as a vessel for preserving both our past history and our future's narratives. When used correctly, creativity provides a strong tool of empowerment and transformation. Images have the power to question the reality and reimagine the future by facilitating the communication of ideas in a fresh and innovative way. Depending on how an image is depicted, Visual narration has the potential to lock or unlock young men and women in my community out of opportunities for development. It also has the ability to unite and better understand humanity and cross barriers that languages cannot. In cases where there is an imbalance in storytelling, one side of the story, i.e. poverty and hopelessness regarding a specific community, Art can reject and transform the depiction by providing an alternative and inclusive approach. A story well told can educate and inform people regarding the state of the world, move hearts and minds, inspire action, and if used correctly, can do a far more effective job than overloading people with information that lack emotion or connection. Just try to imagine stories or the news with no pictures. That would be very difficult to digest. Emotions such as pain or joy know no language in the face of art. A, pho a photograph can capture your attention and make you stop, reflect, feel, and act. So when I read that, it makes me think of, um, of being a little girl and not seeing myself reflected um, in the things that I was consuming, right? So whatever that might have been, stories and movies and cartoons and books. Um, uh, the fact that I didn't see many people that look like me um, and what it meant for me um, and still does and, and what it means for me nowadays when I, when I see that more and more, when I see myself reflected more and more, um, both as a, an African woman, um, as a brown woman, um, and, and the power of that. And so I think Elizabeth's words really speak to, to that and also to the, to the importance of us really taking action and um, sharing our stories and our, our narratives. 
Um, I'm sure it also makes me think of um, Chimamanda's um, The Danger of a Single Story, right? And uh, really, this is so aligned with what We Will Eat Africa is about and how we can make sure that the stories that all of us have, and we all do have really important stories to share with the world and to be expressed, um, uh, to make sure that those stories are, are brought to light um, and are, are lifted up, um, and in particular that the stories of African women are lifted up. So that really is part of what um, is the driving force behind We Will Leave Africa, the driving force behind this particular volume, and um, one of the reasons why uh, I love Elizabeth's story and Elizabeth's commitment to to shining a light and, and pointing her camera um, um, and her creativity at um, at what it means to be an African and, and sharing that with the world. Um, I also really love the fact that she really asks us to question the type of stories and narratives that we consume. Um, she f wants us to uh, make sure that we are consuming African art and African stories. She wants to, us to make sure that we are listening to those voices um, and um, and using that to, to craft narratives. Um, so I like the challenge um, that she puts to us to, to really go out and support and look for um, African art and African stories um, you know, in, in the same way that, that we would with so many other things that we consume. Um, you know, it makes me think, like, when is the last time that you read a, a, a novel by an African writer? When is the last time that you watched a film by a, an African director? Um, when was the last time on Netflix that you watched something produced by... Um, by people from an African country um, or that even depicted an African country. So um, I'd love to leave you with that challenge um, this weekend. Go, go and do that. Go and find some, some stories, some African stories um, to, to form part of uh, what you're consuming from the media. Um, and I will leave you with Elizabeth's words and Elizabeth's call to action to us. She writes, I believe it is our responsibility to play our part in shaping Africa's narrative because the way we tell our stories defines our realities. Further, our stories not only shape our future, but they also serve as legacy for the next generation. In my humble opinion, this is not a role that should be bestowed upon journalists, but rather every responsible citizen. The existing imbalance in our continent's narratives calls for action to break remain, remaining social, economic, and cultural barriers. My vision is to see stories, visually and written, travel across cultures to educate, empower, offer an alternative perspective, and cha challenge existing ones. So there you have it. That is the story of Elizabeth, um, and I hope it encourages you to tell your story. Um, go ahead and share with us uh, down below in the comments. Um, we are always looking to hear what you're up to and what you're doing, um, and there will be more opportunities to contribute to future volumes of We Will Lead Africa, or indeed to create your own volume. Um, you can check out our website to find out more about that or get in touch um, if you have a story to share. Thanks so much.